Let's go ahead and see what else we can get. Oh, jeez. Over the hedge. Ah, brother. So, you know, close to when I started doing this, I got the over the hedge golf game. And apparently I'm playing the, um... Well, I'm in control of the character as we go through the developer logos. That's a new one. I, I will give them credit for that. That's kind of cool. <laughs> but, um, yeah. No, no, don't want to erase the slot. But yeah, it's about time that we got to the actual Over the Hedge tie-in game. And I suppose they really wanted to use actual movie stills, but the Game Boy Advance just could not handle that much, um, detail. Seriously, he doesn't even look like a raccoon right there. He looks like a red fox. Yeah, this is, uh, kind of a fun, you know, like a sort of enjoyable, average family movie. It's just so formulaic and... Like, no risks taken and no, you know really great, enjoyable moments in it. It's just kind of... fun. And I'm suddenly the turtle, okay. I was expecting to be in control of the, uh, raccoon there, but sure. And, uh, let's see if we can avoid talking with more people. My guess on this is going to be... Oh, actually no, it can't be average side-scrolling platform mechanic, because we already have seen this uh, over-the-top, or, you know, top-down view. So I guess it's more of a basic action puzzle game, I guess. Wasn't going into an over-the-hedge tie-in game and expecting block puzzles. You know, block pushing puzzles. Also, wasn't expecting to be the damn turtle. I do kind of remember that this had, like, a ridiculous number of stars in the cast, but, um, don't really remember. Like, I remember Bruce Willis as the raccoon, uh, Steve Carell as the squirrel, and that's about all I remember. A couple more pieces of candy. Not really anything interesting going on there. Guessing it'll be exactly the same back here. Yeah. Thrills! Excitement! Plodding around slowly. All this and more! Now, 
Why do they give you health restoration in this stage where you cannot actually lose health? Hey, wow, I actually do have a run button. Did not notice that a moment ago. Also, we seem to have lost, you know, any ability of choosing a direction to go in. Now it's more always. Fantastic gameplay here. Okay. Like, this is not really even an average game. This is a game that's trying to be an average game and failing. <laughs> now we're walking even slower. Walk at normal speed is now the run button. Certainly something right there, this game. Hey! <laughs> this is, uh... <laughs> huh? Have to admit, I never honestly expected anything like this, but, uh, yeah. I don't really remember, again, overly much of the movie, but I do remember that they mostly went into houses when the people were not around. We walk ever so slightly faster. And there are apparently no boss stages, just um. I like how it mentions pushing rocks and then immediately gives us logs. Game aware of the words that it used? Okay, there's a rock. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I have absolutely no idea, and apparently we're now down to seven candy, and I didn't see a store anywhere that I could have gone to. Now I'm curious. 
out of the way. And finish this stage. No, I don't want to continue. I don't want to start. Um, there is no way to get out of here. The only option is to start the stage from here. Maybe there was a between chapter thing if I had explored around in that main hub area more. Maybe that's where the store was that I could have gone to. Let's just double check. Well, let's get some music going at the very least. Not that it's amazing, but it's slightly better than silence. Is there an FAQ? No, there is no FAQ for this game, so... Uh, I don't care enough to find out what are the things in the store. That would mean, uh, you know, going through the rest of these stages and, uh... Well, maybe if we, uh... No, we cannot, uh, get killed and go back to... Maybe quit mission... There! That'll bring us back here. Let's see, so, credits... Oh god. Again, if you have the credits in the main menu, or the options, or in the game itself, and not at the end of the game, it's not a good sign. Just showing that, you know, you don't have faith in players to actually play through to the end of the game. So what is a bigger bag? Oh. <laughs> yeah, because that's... Wow. Kinda curious now what the actual max is, other than, uh, you know, before the upgrade. Also would like a description of what these things do, other than this obvious stuff, but, um... So, you know, those are... seem like useful, uh, upgrades you would want to buy. What do you do with the stove? Why? why, why? Kind of expected to see the stove out here in this area, but um, there it is. Okay. I guess just if you desire it, you can buy furniture. What the hell, man? Wow, this is, um... <laughs> kind of, um... Really freaking terrible, I suppose? And this... Is the boomerang an actual usable object, or... Is it a decoration like all the other things? Oh no, it is an actual... Okay, that's that's fine then. I think I have no real objections to, you know, actual upgrades. It's just all the nonsense that is... Basic oh. Okay, never mind. I can't use the boomerang in the field here, in the actual game. So yeah, it is, uh to be largely, utterly pointless things to buy. Thanks for that, game. Now then, with all that said, um, we've been playing this way too goddamn long, and, um, yeah, we are absolutely done here.